Hi, in this particular tutorial we're going to talk about how to install the ArcGIS software. In our GIS classes we work with a software called ArcGIS created by a company called Esri, Environmental Systems Research Institute. So it allows us to analyze, manipulate, create maps, do lots of neat things, network analysis and all this other good stuff. For our intro classes we have the ability to install it on our own computers. In the GIS labs in rooms 1227 and 1235 of Marytown Science Center, we have ArcGIS installed on those. And I've posted schedules outside of the labs and when you, uh, as to when you can access it. There may be some GIS software over uh, in the library, and there might be some in the Criminal Justice Building, but it's going to be limited throughout campus. So if you need to access it for your homework and the assignments that I give, you need to be mindful of when, these, uh, when classes meet in these buildings. However, we can install it. And if we look at the GIS, um, if we look at the folder that we have, we have Geography 3435 Fall 2015 student or Spring 2016 or whatever semester, I'm going to give you data. You're going to be able to upload data onto your flash drive. And you can work off this flash drive or copy this flash drive to your hard drive and work off this drive so that you can install the software on your own computer and it can work for the semester. So we have a lot of good capabilities in, in order to do this so you can work from home. Now you'll see when you look at this, we have documents. Uh, you might see the syllabus right here. You might see all the data for the exercises. You see the final exam data. We have MGIS data right here. This MGIS data is the data sitting in the back of the book. So if you buy a book and it doesn't have a disk in it, that's OK because I've provided it. We can see all the presentations that I give. So these are all the presentations that I give. And then you can see some of the quizzes. And th these are some old quizzes that I've given in the past, as well as data for the quizzes that you'll need. So you might need to open up some of these exercises right here and do some hands-on manipulations as part of the exercises that I give. So this is the software file here. Okay, So you can see something like ArcGIS 10.2. We're starting to migrate up to ArcGIS 10.3. So by the time you're reading this, you might see something like that. But I can double click on this. And this is all the, all the files that I'm going to need in order to install this software. It's very, very straightforward. And all I'm going to do is double click on setup.exe. This is what I want to click on. So this is going to be on your flash drive. You double click on setup.exe, click yes, because I know a lot of people these days don't install software. And then from here, all you're going to do is click next, next, next. If it asks you for an option, what software you want to install, and you can see here I've already installed it here, you want to click on ArcGIS for desktop advanced single use. You know, when you get to the point in time where you want to do install, you want to click on ArcGIS for desktop advanced single use, because there's a number of different softwares that we can install there. Okay? Since I already have it installed on this computer, it doesn't give me this option. It thinks that I want to modify it or remove it or anything like that, which I don't want to do. And from there, just click Next, Next, Next. Okay, take all of the defaults. and it'll take about 20 minutes or so to install. Now, this is pretty expensive software, and we're lucky to have licenses so that we allow students to use it. So it's obviously not free. Someone pays for it. So we need a license attached to that. So after you finish installing it, and you try to run the software, I can go here in my ArcGIS, and I can type in something like Arc Map, and it tries to run. If you don't have the software installed, it'll say, License, I won't say that. It'll say license hasn't been set yet, okay? Or license server not found. I need to send you a license, okay? I will send you a license. It won't be from me. It'll be from Esri, the company that has a small little attachment that looks something like this. This is called the PRVC file. And you'll see ArcGIS for desktop single use. So after you finish installing it, and it, you run that setup, and you go next, 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 and install everything, you need to run this license file. And it's pertinent that these directions are followed in this order. Because if you don't have the software installed, then you can't run the license, and vice versa. If you try running the license without the software, it's not going to allow you to do that. And I'm not going to send people two or three, four licenses because they can't follow directions. Okay. So I can double click on this. Now it knows what to run once everything's been installed. 
I click yes and I'm just gonna hit next for everything here okay, it says I've already received the file this is my license file I click next authorize you need an internet connection keep all this information about me because I'm the license administrator under your organization you're gonna click on education student your industry is higher education yourself is a student who wants information it won't let you do that until you click next it asks for next next click clicking next and then when you're done click finish and it'll install everything you can see here that my license file has already been installed so now when you go back you need this license file now you can run your ArcGIS okay, and you can do this a number of different ways here this is the way that I do it in my Windows way a I can type in Arc GIS or if I just type in Arc you can see that the suite of software tools that we have also if I see the MXD projects that we have here exercises like exercise 2 if I see something that looks like this something MXD now it'll open it up I don't want to do that it'll open up our ArcGIS software using that okay and then once you've installed it once you've installed it here you can delete this folder here the software has been installed on your computer so you can just delete this folder and save yourself some space and, and get to work but it's really important that you install this software early because from the get-go we're going to be working with this software you know, I don't want to be installing this in the fifth or sixth week of class while you're going to be running behind so it's important that if you want to install it on your own personal computer you follow these directions you need to install the software first and then you need to activate it using a license file that I send you so you need to communicate with me about where to send the license file and it's important that, that you know how to run these attachments and you follow the directions